Welcome back to Dragon Army Books. My name is Dustin, and this is a review of the newest story from Brandon Sanderson, an author that I love, an author that I revere, an author that I respect, an author that I value as one of the greatest fantasy writers of our time. He's consistent. He's quality. He, uh, he He's creative. He's got systems upon systems upon systems, and he writes like a madman. And, and some of it is to his detriment. This is a review of Lux, the newest entry in the wider Reckoner's world. It is Sanderson's YA stories, YA novels. Um, he already completed the trilogy, I believe is a trilogy, of the Reckoners novels. And this is kind of an extension of that. This is Lux, the first in a new extension series called the Texas Reckoners, which are the, the Reckoners in the state of Texas. Bet you couldn't have guessed that. And it is currently an Audible original, audio only, no written narrative, completely audio uh, book experience. Now, it, there, there's not really sound effects or anything like that, music or anything like that, so it could certainly be a a physical novel or an ebook, and I'm sure that it will be at some point, but right now it is strictly an audio original, and it is a story about a young protagonist named Jax. Jax, as a young boy, lost his older brother to a vicious epic attack. Epics, by the way, if you haven't read the Reckoners series, uh, are, are the super-powered humans. But for some reason or another, every single one of these, these super-powered humans immediately turn evil. And they use their powers not for good, but for evil. So they're not superheroes, they're super villains. And Jax had his brother's life taken by one of these epics. So now we fast forward to the start of this novel, and he is a he's a 16-year-old man, young adult. I almost said man, but you're Certainly not a, a man when you're 16. And Jax has been recruited by the Reckoners, and he is being raised up and trained up to be an elite fighter amongst the Texas group of, uh, of rebels that are working to really bring war to the epics in an attempt to kind of get back to society as it was pre-Calamity. Well, they've got a lot of training to do, a lot of building up planning to do, because the big problem in Texas is that a massive portion, really just one city, it's Sweetwater, Texas, I believe, has been raised up from the ground and is now this floating city fortress of epics and uh, certain humans that have been brought up from other cities within Texas uh, to, to live on this floating city as it makes its way around Texas. And these Texas Reckoners are going to bring it down. And by the way, this new floating city is called Lux. So one cool thing is that I am from Texas. Here is a fact about me. I wasn't actually born in Texas. Other Texans would not qualify me as a Texan, but I will say this, Davy Crockett, you ever heard of him? He wasn't originally a Texan either, but I think you're going to claim him. So if you're claiming Davy, you're claiming me as well. I got there as soon as possible when I was three and was raised in Texas and um, pretty much central Texas, but uh, like Houston and Austin and Dallas and even Sweetwater, all of these places that were mentioned uh, are, are places that I grew up. They're my stomping grounds, right? So a lot of these places that are mentioned as places that Jax and the crew traveled through or to or cities that were completely raised or raised are, are places that I know and that I'm familiar with. So that was kind of cool. And I think that Brandon Sanderson did justice to describing Texas and especially even our love for ice cream. I thought for a moment he was going to reference Bluebell ice cream, but he he didn't. Uh, he left the, the name Bluebell out, but ice cream is a, is a kind of a considerable plot point here, uh, which will lead me into the next part. I am not typically a an urban fantasy fan. Uh, and so it takes a, 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 per, a particular kind of urban fantasy to, to really um, cause me to be interested. The reason why, like, it, it really causes fantasy immersion breaking for me when the characters are um, splitting a, a Snickers bar or um, some of our 
uh, characters worked at Target. I, that's the real world that I live in. I love Snickers and you know, Target is a step up from Walmart. It makes, you know, makes people feel good about themselves because they're not going to Walmart anymore. But I, um, I don't want that in my fantasy novels. So that's on me though, because that's urban fantasy. That's what you're going to get with some urban fantasies. On the other end, I really do like YA novels, a lot of YA novels, right? But, um, but Brandon Sanderson is not the best YA writer. To be honest, I haven't enjoyed any of his young adult books that he's written. Here's the remarkable thing. I've enjoyed almost every one of his adult books that he's written. Uh, and, and then I've even enjoyed his middle grade novel. Some of you might not even know, but he actually wrote a, a, a it's a standalone right now. I think it's supposed to be a series called The Rhythmatist, which is a middle grade novel. And it's even got a elaborate chalk magic system in there. And I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was excellent. Uh, but YA every single time from his space YA series to this kind of like urban fantasy YA series, I have not enjoyed it at all. And it's not the characters. I think that he does okay with the characters. They always have individual personalities and they always have individual like goals and aspirations and motivations. So all of those are, are, are the characters are somewhat fleshed out and, and good and enjoyable. That's not what the problem is. Um, it's, it has to do, I think, with him still trying to bring in these complex, like, layered systems, whether it's magic or otherwise, while trying to have some kind of, like, levity and YA feel that he thinks is supposed to be in YA. And I think he struggles with those. With his middle grade, he had fun enough and he was like, I, I'm still going to have a magic system in here because I'm Brandon Sanderson, but I'm going to have fun and be silly. And so it worked. And with his adult stuff, go as complex as you can and make it difficult for us to follow along and have lists and lists of characters and family relationships and orders of knights. All that's great. But I think he struggles here in this in-between. And I, I know that a lot of people really like some of his YA stuff. I haven't liked it because I think that the plotting is 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 way too slow. I think that he is... Um, He's just trying to live in a sphere that is not where he thrives. And I feel that. What I feel all the more here is that um, when, when authors, big authors, get co-writers to help write series, I feel like the series and the books always, almost always suffer for it. I've seen it when other big authors have done it, and I'm seeing it here with these YA novels. I do not think that it is fully Sanderson. It's his idea, it's his vision, and then another author writes it, and it and it just feels like this, it, not a beautiful blend, but like this this merger that is butting heads of one another that is like trying to accomplish something for someone else and doing it in a lackluster way. And I recognize it. I can't even point out all of the, the parts and the points, but it just doesn't feel Sanderson. But at the same time, it feels very YA Sanderson, which I just haven't, I haven't liked. Basically, the book felt like it could have reached a climax and an end around a quarter of the way through the book. By halfway, I was like, all right, we're not we're not even close to being over yet. And then and then just in the second half, I was just like ready for it to be over, ready for it to be ready over, ready for it to be over. And we we're just going to the next plot point, next plot point. And the and the story kept being ludicrous. The the dialogue is weak and cheesy. Like the epics are like, oh, I'm so bad. I'm going to kill everybody because I hate the world. Like that kind of villain. And it's just, uh, and, and then the, and then the heroes, the protagonists are like, we're going to do everything to rescue human. It's just, the dialogue is bad. The characters are okay. The dialogue's bad. The plot, the plotting is, is bad. And then the world building is serviceable for what the urban fantasy works at, like, you know, whatever, but it's just not, it's just not. And I didn't intend for this one to be a rant. It was supposed to be a review, uh, but I just, I'm going to continue to read them and it's to my own detriment because I know that I'm not going to like his YA novels, but I am a Sanderson fanatic. I, I'm not, I haven't drank the Kool-Aid. So like, I, I don't think that he's just perfect in everything that he does nearly on some of his stuff. Um, I'm looking at you, Stormlight. I'm looking at you, Mistborn. But here with the YA stuff, I'll continue to read it. But I might not do a video review of it because it's not it's not helpful.
It's not helpful. I, I don't want to sit here and talk bad about Brandon Sanderson when he is the most elite and I'm the most not. But uh, I just, I, I don't I don't love it. it. That it's an audio original, it's great. Because it is, it's, 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 the audio narration is great. But, uh, but the book isn't. One of the key things here with the epics in the story uh, is that they uh, all have these uh, like a certain power and then uh, they all have like a very particular weakness that has to do with their humanity. Okay, something specific about them. So in the comments down below, let me know what would be your one power. You can't be Superman and have so many powers. It's like you've got one power. You can have like super strength or the super kind of intelligence or you can cause things to hover or you can cause like you can control steel or whatever. What What is your or one power and then what is the weakness to it are you afraid of cats for some reason i don't know but let me know down in the comments below get a little creative and let's have some epic fun thank you as always for taking the time to watch and like this video if you haven't yet click subscribe and join the dragon army and uh see you in the next one